Hi, I'm Norm Abram, and welcome back to This Old House. Today, my old house gets a new coat of paint. You are not going to believe this. Have a look at the front of our house. The painting crew has been here for a few days, and these guys have been working hard. Hey, good morning, Bill. Hey, Kevin, how are you? I'm doing all right. Boy, I don't think I have ever seen a house stripped so bare. Can you believe it? We've had about 10 or 12 guys here for four or five days. They've just been working, stripping the paint off, and then uh, filling in nail holes, taking care of it, caulking everywhere. Right down to the bare claps, right which the wood. actually look like they're in pretty good uh, condition. They say they haven't seen wood this good in a house this old for a long time. Ah, lucky you. So this level of prep work does not come cheap, as you say. Dozens of guys working for several days. No, but in this case, we had to do it because the kind of paint we chose after quite a bit of research um, is a paint with ceramic beads in it. Mm -hmm. And they say that if you get the paint adhered directly to the wood, then you'll never have to paint again. So we thought we'd learn more from our painting contractors, sure. Pat Foley and Matt Juvenello. Hey guys, how you doing? Hey Kevin, good to see you. All right, so I gotta start off by saying that um, in terms of prep, this is probably the most thoroughly prepared house we have ever seen. Oh wow, really appreciate that. You guys have taken it right down to the bare wood. Yes, we have. Uh, we really, as you know, you're only as good as what you go over. Sure. And prep is everything. And we, twofold, we had a couple of things here. We had uh, new construction, uh, going with uh, you know an older home, so we want to have that look seamless when we're done. All right. Well, we'll get to the prep work in a second, but I see you guys have already started um, doing some application. What's going on right here? Uh, this bonding agent right here is uh, kind of a break from the conventional primer that you may see on a typical paint job. Yeah. It uh, has a huge elasticity to it. As the wood moves and contracts, it'll go with it, and it dries tacky, so our top coats can adhere to it and fuse onto that. So, what's your preference for spraying? Well, it is a system, and with the bonding agent. Uh, this allows us to apply the right amount per square foot. So on this side, the bonding agent has already been applied and set up. And how long do you want to set up for? Uh, about a day. Oh, so wait, this is still tacky. Yeah, it's still tacky to the touch. And the purpose of that is uh, for this system, the bonding agent is a penetrant, it'll soak in, uh, dry tacky, and then the top coats adhere to this tacky bonding agent uh, to complete the system. Gotcha. Now, when you were spraying this on on the other side of the house, it was going on white, yet here it's sort of opaque. W why is that? Yep, so we add the additive in there so the sprayers can see where the bonding agent's being applied, but as it cures, it'll go transparent. So why is the uh, base coat here, or is it the primer coat on the window, still white? Is this not set up yet? Well, that's actually just conventional paint right there. Uh, the reason for that, with our system with the bonding agent and how it's a penetrant and it's tacky, it wouldn't make uh, for a lot of fun if it gets into the uh, the rails on the side here. So don't use your guys' paint on the moving parts. Exactly. Gotcha. Yeah. You know, this, this prep work that you've done, um, is remarkable. You can see it down the bare claps right here. As you look at the details uh, in the pediment of our front porch, you can really see the time you took to clean those out. Uh, this system, as you guys call it, does it only work if you go down to bare wood? No, nope. uh, we won't go over anything that's cracking, peeling, flaking, you know, in our sound. So that's like your traditional prep job. Exactly, exactly. Okay. So why down the bare wood here? Well, with this project, with a nice new addition and pristine clapboards on the other side, we wanted to make sure that our work on this side blends seamlessly with the, uh, the new stuff on the other side. I got you. Okay. So it looks like you guys use a shield there to help with the sprain? Oh, yeah. An ounce of prevention, as they say. I mean, we really want to protect the roof line, shingles, uh, anything we can contain, we will. This is the first of two top coats you're applying? That's correct. Yep. Any limitations in terms of colors with your guys' system? No, that's a great thing. You can bring any color you'd like to us, and we can custom tint it to that color. So how much does your guys' uh, paint job cost compared to a conventional paint job? Uh, typically runs about two to two and a half times the conventional paint job. So why would I want to pay a two times premium for this? Well, you're not going to be revisiting uh, painting every you know, three to five years, as everybody seems to be doing. And uh, we warranty it as long as you own the home, and it's a 25-year transferable warranty uh, if you were to sell the home. Well, you can really see where the uh, hard work of your prep starts to pay off. Those details just jump underneath this white trim paint. Absolutely. It's great to see that back again. What's the plan for the uh, ceiling? Actually, they're going to go with the historic blue tone color. Okay. Uh, it's pretty traditional for this type of home. So what have we got going on for the body uh, paint color? Uh, Ed right here is going to uh, start putting that on right now. And it's a uh, historic gray color. So you guys have always got some sort of a magic formula for these things that last forever. Have you got a secret ingredient? Uh, well, it's an acrylic coating, uh, but a major part of that is the ceramic microspheres that are in the product. They're actually indefinite, uh, do not break down, and it's a major part of the toughness of the coating.
Not bad for 100-year-old clapboards, huh? It is a vast improvement over the vinyl that used to be all over this house. So I know you guys have got a few more days uh, worth of painting, so we'll make sure that we check out what it looks like all finished. And then I guess i got to come back in 25 years to make sure that the paint's still on the house. Oh, it'll be here, Kevin. Don't you <laughs> all worry. Right, Matt. Thanks, Thanks so much. Kevin. All right. Thank you.